to be in the house of prayer. Yes, sir. Amen. To lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, sir. Lord. yes sir. Yes, Lord. Tell him how much we love him. And yes, sir. How much we appreciate him. And somebody posed the question if, if uh, you asked uh, about all of the good things in your life. Uh -huh. Right, right. Pastor Jones, Sister Jones would be right on the top of the list. Yes, sir. All right. All the other right. wives and husbands. Yes, yes. But, but the writer said the greatest gift the yeah, greatest yeah. Uh, was the gift of Jesus yes, Christ sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. his father, the indescribable gift of Christ. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. So that's who we've come to praise this morning. Yes, yes, Lord. To give him all of the glory and it belongs to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we thank God as we gather uh, the Mount Carmel family and those constituents around the virtual calls and all of that. We just praise our God. Oh, Lord, he will be praised. thank him for another day's journey. Yes, sir. Day. Thank him for one more day. One more day. I heard somebody say, I'm just glad uh -huh. hey. to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. One more, one more time. One more time. One more time. That used to be a cliche. It's real today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we really realize that we've got a lot of death and sickness going on, and we really do appreciate our preacher for keeping us abreast yes, Lord. with this pandemic. Some folks still think it's a host. Oh, no. I don't know how, but I thank God for him and his agitation and keeping us abreast. And we praise God for leadership. Yes, sir. Yeah. Say that we thank God that Sister Jones is here this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, to see her is significant of the fact that he can work mm -hmm. even in the midst of. Yes, sir. And bring us back. We know Brother Jones lost, Sister Reverend Jones, yes. Sister Inez, his nephew, and the list goes on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We want to recognize our Brother district Brown. president passed on last night, Mama. Deacon Lars Coleman. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Certainly Lord. a co-worker with me, my brother, and my friend. Yes, sir. And we thank God for our relationship and just pray for that family. Yes, Lord. And yes, sir. Families. And the Lord's going to get us through. Yes, yes, he will. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. One, yes. one of the ways that we can really know and enjoy what's going to happen is because history dictates uh -huh. what yes. he's already done. Yes, sir. He's brought me not part of the way. Yes. Oh, but he's brought me all of the way. Sometimes when I consider yeah. things yeah. a little yeah. different, Mary Powell, but I think yeah. about he's the same God. Yeah. Yeah. He never left me. Yes, Still talk to Yes, sir. Early in the morning, yes. late over in the midnight hour. Yes, sir. Every now and then he'll show up and let me know that I'm his own. We thank our God and we praise him. Our scripture will come from the gospel as recorded by St. John, the 15th chapter, the 7th through the 12th verse. Our devotional prayer will come from Deacon James Taylor. The altar prayer from Deacon Irby, Deacon Al Irby. And our offertory prayer will come from Deacon Figgis. Amen. 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 Our devotional scripture, John, the 15th chapter, 7th through the 12th verse. Yes, sir. Amen. John 15, 7 through 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the words of our Christ. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient. For you that I go away. For if I go, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. 
this I gave one that we had was not the right one, but this is the one I want you to use. John 16, mm -hmm. starting at the seventh verse. All right. Okay, okay. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. It's expedient for you that I go away. Mm -hmm. For if I go not away, mm -hmm. the comforter will not come yeah, unto you. That's right. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Yes, sir. That's what we needed this yeah. morning. John 16, the seventh verse. The Lord bless the reading and the hearers of his word, and bless the doers of his word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the word for the people of God. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Where is the storm? That's all right. That's all right. Bless God this morning. Yeah, yeah. When I consider now, come on now. and think about those who demise during this COVID time, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. this time of pandemic, I know the world raises issues that they can't attend home goings and or funerals mm -hmm. for their lost ones. Mm -hmm. well, well, I concur this morning that those of us that die in the Lord. Yes, sir. Those of us that come die on, in the man. Lord, come I said this morning. Come on, man. We're not concerned about limousines and caravans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm certain mm -hmm. that there is a band of angels yeah, yeah. that have come down over there. Escort them up in come heaven. On, come, on, come on, come on. And surely all of heaven is rejoicing at the coming home of another saint. Oh, well, yes. well. So let us pray. Yes, Come on, lift him up. Lift him up this morning, Eternal God, our Father. Yeah, yeah. 
We want to first acknowledge that thou art the only and true living God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. We thank you, O oh God, for last night's slumber. Some didn't answer the call this morning, O oh God. Yeah, yeah. We thank you that you saw fit to raise us yet one more again. One more oh, again. We come this morning, O oh God, with heavy hearts. But we come, O oh God, filled with thy spirit, knowing that you do with all things well. All things. We don't come questioning, Lord, your will. But we do ask, O oh God, that you give us the strength right, to right. accept your will. Well, well. We pray, O oh God, for all those who are grieving this morning in whatever manner. We know, O oh God, that thou art a God who is able to make all things well. Mm. We know, O oh God, in your time, you will fix what's ailing the earth. We know, O oh God, that if we just hold to your unchanging hand, well, well. you're faithful to never leave us nor forsake us. We're standing on your promise this morning, O oh God. Mm. For I know for myself, you brought me not some of the way. Mm. But you brought me all the way, oh God. And here I stand right now. We just thank for God for who you are and what you are in our lives. We lift up this morning, oh God, the family of Deacon Coleman, serving to the entire Galilee family. We know they're missed, and so they are missing. He was a friend and a, for, a, a former laborer. But we realize, oh God, that you saw fit to call him home. Yeah. He's in a better place right now, oh God. Well, well. No more pain. Mm -hmm. No more suffering. This it ain't over. Mm -hmm. It's just beginning. We just thank you, oh God, that not that our past crossed, but you caused our past to intertwine. Mm -hmm. We thank you, oh God, thank for the you, relationship. God. Thank you, oh God, for a servitude. Yes. And then, oh God, we ask that you just use us to thine own glory. Yes. That we may be that you may be glorified and our living as we live to edify your church. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. For every breath that we breathe. Mm. Thank you, O oh God, thank you. for all that you allow us to see. And then I oh, thank you, O oh God, for all that you allow our hearts to feel. For we realize, Lord, that in your word there is truth. Give us, O oh God, a mind to follow thy word. Be obedient to thy word. Give us a man, O oh God, to love one another as you first loved us. Call us, O oh God, to be a brother to our neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Call us, oh God, to be a brother to that sojourner. Call us, oh God, to realize the power of your love in humanity. Now, oh God, we lift up the government to you, not yes, just the present administration, but we lift up this government, for we realize in your word it rests on the shoulders of our Savior. Well, yes, Lord, it rests. We ask, oh God, that you just prick their hearts and cause them to realize their errors and their ways. Cause them, oh God, to seek your face and pray that you might make things all right yeah, down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Then, oh God, we just thank you for family this morning. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you for family, Lord, in a mighty special way. In my lost days, oh God, I know it was the prayers of family that kept me strong. Yes, it was. And then, oh God, when I realized that I could pray to you myself, <laughs> that you wasn't just a mother's God. I called on you, oh God, thank and you Lord. raised thank me. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. For right now. Yeah. Then, oh God, I thank you for my wife. Thank you, thank you for my spouse, oh God. Amen. In the midst of all that's going on, she's been right there with me. Well, yes, Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. Well, I asked you a long time ago. She doesn't have to be pretty. Don't have to have long hair. But I want her to be a woman who has gone through some trials of life and realize that God is able to make all things well. Thank you this morning, oh God, for family. Thank you, Lord. And then, oh God, we lift up to you, Pastor Jones and Sister Jones. Yeah, yeah, Pastor yeah, Meredith, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Belka. Yeah, yeah. Every preacher that stands thank in the pulpit and declares you honor the way of the gospel. Thank, thank you for your church this morning, oh God. Thank you, thank you. We just love you, and we can't get along without you. Well, well. Oh God, before we go any further, forgive us for our shortcomings mm -hmm. and all our transgressions, and we know there are many. But thou art many chance, God. And I thank you this morning. So we ask, oh God, that you just bless this morning bless in a particular bless way. Bless in a mighty way. Lest I be remiss, we pray for Brother Ricks, Deacon Ricks, and his son this morning, and that yeah. family. Please, I have mercy. Like I said, we don't question your will, God, but strengthen us that we might Please. receive your will. Mm -hmm. Now bless, oh God, all that we endeavor to do yes, yes. that glorifies your name yes. 
as we live to edify your church. Cause us, O oh God, to go before a dying world. Take your church wherever we go and declare the goodness of Christ Jesus, a right, risen Savior. Right. Bless us now as we stand in need. Use us this day henceforth to that own glory. And we ask it all in Jesus' name, for it's in his sake we do pray. And all the saints say, Amen. 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 And glory Amen. to our God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, 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 great. Oh, yes, great, indeed. Great, great. Hey, he is hey, worthy. Praise his name. Come, 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 come. Worthy of all praise. Worthy. Yes, Amen. Amen. I'm still here, y'all. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I'm still here. And fail. I did get my two miles in. I want y'all to know. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm all healthy, and that's probably one of the reasons. But the main reason is because of your prayers and because God is just good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. You know, at the emergency room told me, they said, you are so lucky because I got scars under my eyes and my lips all messed up. And they said, you are just so lucky. I said, uh-uh. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Mass today, to be here today. The song we're going to sing for our congregational hymn is I Surrender All. And I yeah. said, do that today. It's on the back of your program. Would you help me sing that? Yeah. For those of you who are here in the audience and for, are here in the church, and for those of you who are streaming live, you know that song. Well. And let's all surrender to God. Amen.
Amen. We thank God. We thank God for what he has done. Amen. We thank God for the singing of our angelic choir. And I thank God. I couldn't wait. I was going to say this a little later, but I just can't help myself. I, I'm just thankful for uh, Sister Doris uh, singing the theme song of the victory after the election, after the defeat of Donald Trump. That's what I felt like. I felt like shouting. I felt like jumping. I felt like praying. I felt oh, like yeah. running. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, I got that out. I got that out. I tried to hold it, but I tried to hold it, but I got that out. Let it go. Let it Amen. go. Amen. Our scripture for today, brothers and sisters, is going to be coming from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. And in the language of the King James Version today, it sounds like this. Let us therefore come boldly Holy unto the throne of grace yes, that we may obtain mercy. Well, and find grace to help in time of need. Well, 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 Amen. The word of God for the people of God. God bless you. Let us prepare ourselves for altar prayer at this time. Yes, sir. Come on, Irby. Lift him up. Lift him up. Come on, words of my mouth yes, sir. and the meditation of my heart on, be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, yes, oh, Lord. My, strength my strength and my redeemer. Yes, sir. We come, oh Lord, before your throne of grace, thanking you for all that you've done for us, oh Lord. Yes. And we come, oh Heavenly Father, not to boast in the victories of ourselves, but to give you all the praise and all the glory, all the glory. for what you have done for us, oh Lord. Yes, sir. And you have said in your scripture that we should not rejoice when our enemy falls. Nor should we be glad in our hearts when he trembles. But we to give you the glory for the victory that we won. And we rejoice in our Lord. salvation. Well, Lord. We are thankful, O oh Lord, that you have provided us with this salvation. Mm -hmm. And that you have given us everything that you have received for the Father. And you have given it to us freely. That which you have given. That which you have paid such a high price for. Yes, sir. We thank you, Heavenly Father, today for our faith. Yes, Lord. For that faith mm -hmm. that we have, have to continue to trust in you, Lord. Yes. And even though, Heavenly Father, we don't know always how you would do it, our faith oversees our desires to know these things. Yes, what you sir. think yes, is too way higher than what we think. Well, Lord. And your thoughts are higher than ours, and your well, ways are higher than our ways. But we know one thing, oh, Heavenly Father. We know that you will do it, oh, Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. Because you said in your word that if we believe and trust in you, you will make everything all right. Oh, well, Lord Jesus. We come to you, Heavenly Father, amidst these difficult times, yeah. amidst these challenging times, mm. when the world is broken, oh Lord. Oh, Lord when there's a lot of racism, Lord, when there's a lot of prejudice, oh Heavenly Father, yes, when the sir. government, oh Heavenly Father, well. has tried to oppress and depress. We pray that you would lift up the heads of those who are oppressed and depressed, oh, Lord, that you would strengthen you. those you. who are weak Please, oh, and meek. And that you would comfort those who are bereaved and lost to loved ones mm, or family yes, members. Sir. Yes, sir. Because there was all sorts of things that are going on in the world that we have no control over. All right. But we know one person, oh Heavenly one, Father, yeah, who will lift us up yes, sir. and who will help us in all these troubling times. Yes, yes, sir. Help us, oh Heavenly Father, as only you can help us. Lord, help strengthen us. us as only you can strengthen us, Lord. And through our measure of faith, it depends upon your strength and not on our own. Help us, oh Heavenly Father, that we can continue to lift each other up mm. and encourage one another yes, sir. and that we can comfort one another yes, sir. Yes, sir. and that we can engage yes, in sir. fellowship of fruitful works yes. and that we will have no dealings with unfruitful works, O oh Lord. And these things we ask in our Father and Son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. We need you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Help us. Yes, Help sir. us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Yes, right here. Sing order my steps prior to our pastor coming up with the message that he's received from the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Would you stand as we sing this? And for those of you at home, if you can stand, please stand as well and help us to sing this song prior to our message. <laughs>
Praise God for all that he has done for us on today. Yes, sir. I'm personally thankful for all God has done for me, and I'm yeah. thankful for what God has done for Sister Jones as well. We thank yes, God sir. for yes, her right. being back with us on today. Well, As we stand, I must say, as uh, Deacon Taylor said earlier, I want to remember the friendship and the colleague that has gone on to be with the Lord as Deacon right. Lawrence Coleman. Yes, sir. A man that uh, I didn't come to love. I loved from the time I met. Amen. Uh, he was just that kind of brother. Yes. Uh, and I thank God uh, that I had the opportunity to know him yes, and to share with him. Mm -hmm. And I want us to also in this time of remembering those who are in need and those who are bereaved, we want to also pray for the Greater Galilee family and yes, Pastor yes. Stella. Yes. Because that's one of their leaders that has gone yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, and others have to now step up and fill in the gap. I do want to say that we want to remember and be prayerful for the Patterson family. All right. Our own sister Gloria Patterson is asking that we would remember that Brother Patterson is going to have surgery on tomorrow. Amen. Amen. And so we want to be prayerful for him yes, sir. that God will bless and keep and give him the strength uh, that he needs. Yes, and uh, yes, I thank God for today. Yes, I thank sir. God for worship on today. Come on, preacher. Our honor and respect to Pastor Mary, to Dr. Felker, and Sister Shirley Felker, to all of the officers that make up this, the Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church, and for all of you that are sharing with us on today, we thank God for the opportunity uh, that we have to see you. Yeah. Uh, and I take that literally when I say see you. That's right. Uh, because the way things are going, some of these folk that are here, we won't be seeing well, in the room when we come back together. My Lord, my Lord. But we thanks be unto God that we are here. We are yet here. Yeah. I was sharing with someone the other day. I said, we're going to have to rearrange our language now that we're using Zoom. And so, you know, we used to say good to see you, and people would say, yeah, it's better to be seen and not viewed. Yeah. Well, look, every time we on, every time we on Zoom, we viewing yeah. somebody. <laughs> so, so we may not. Uh, this thing has taken us to another level. But we're truly thankful for each and every one of you. And there is uh, a word from the Lord today that I want to share with you. And that word is coming from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. And in the language of the King James Version, again, it sounds like this. Let us therefore come boldly Holy. unto the throne of grace, my, my, my. that we may obtain mercy, mercy. and find mercy. grace to grace. help in time of need. Well, Amen. Right now, right God, now, yes, right now. Yes, 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 we thank God for what he has done yes, with Lord. his word. Uh, today's title of today's message is this one, God's Grace and Mercy. That's it. Has brought us through. That'll do it, that'll do it. God's do it. Grace, grace and mercy right. has brought us through. Now I want you to hear what I'm saying. I didn't say we'll bring us through. Yes. Okay. Yes. You know, we ain't hoping to be brought through. Yes. We need to, as people of faith, we got to stand on the fact of the matter. And the fact of the matter is that God's grace and mercy has brought us yes, sir. through. Amen. 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 I, I never forget the words of a song that I've heard that said that if the Lord doesn't do anything else for me, uh -huh. he's right. done enough. Right. Amen. God's grace and mercy has brought us through. Now, you know, brothers and sisters, the word, therefore, is an interesting word in Scripture. Uh, the inerrant King James Version usually uses words like let us let in us. front of the words therefore. therefore. Uh -huh. And most times when the word therefore is used, it is indicative of the fact that uh, what is getting ready to be said is based on what has been said previously. Yes, already, already. You know, we used to say it like this. Whenever you see the word therefore, why don't you read up ahead of yes, it and yes, see yes, what yes. it was therefore. therefore. Amen. Amen. So now, the word therefore is implicit in the book of Hebrews, beginning with chapter 3, verse 1, you find that it says these words, Therefore, holy brothers and sisters, who share the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, yeah. who we yeah. acknowledge as our apostle and high priest. Well, well. Further still, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. Uh -huh. Again, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, another therefore is, mm. therefore, since we have a great high priest, high priest who has ascended into heaven, 
Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly Amen. to the faith that we possess. Yes, and the word therefore is implied in the NIV version of our text today where it says, let us then approach God's throne of grace Amen. with confidence Amen. so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 shows us how we should come before God in our worship as well as in our daily life. We should come before God in confidence. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Now that word confidence comes from a Greek word that sounds like this, parousia. Parousia, and what it means is cheerful courage or celebration. And I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying as we are in this situation and in this circumstance and dealing with the stuff that we're dealing with. You're saying, celebrate what? What are we going to celebrate in times like these? We have been in a global medical pandemic since the start of 2020. Celebrate what? We have been in a racial pandemic for the last 400 years. My Lord. Celebrate what? Come on, Doc. We have been in an educational pandemic since Brown versus Board of Education in 1954. Celebrate what? Together, brothers and sisters, we have endured bad leadership from good people. Now we are hopefully around 60 days from ending our endurance of bad national leadership from a bad person. Celebrate what? Not to mention bereavements, illnesses from other than COVID-19, the stress of online learning, our physical and mental aches and pain. But brothers and sisters, in the midst of all of that and more, we can say like the words of, Albertine, of the Albertina Walker song that our own sister Corita would sing on so many occasions. Uh -huh. I am still I'm here. here. Yes, I made it through. Yes, so have you. I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. I'm still here. Kept by his love. Yes, I wonder you hear what I'm saying today. When we come before God in our worship, in our prayers, in our meditation, in our reflections, in our songs, in our testimonies, and in our witness, we should always celebrate the reality that it is God's grace and mercy that brought us through. I wonder if you hear me today. Now, brothers and sisters, we should celebrate that we have come to realize as a church and as saints of God that it is God and God alone who has brought us through. You see, listen, let me tell you something. No one is bigger, better, or better than the fullness of God. Wow, wow. I, you want to you hear what I'm saying today? No one, no one is bigger, better, or better than the fullness of God. That's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I want you to hear me today. The writer of Hebrews says that Jesus is our apostle and our high priest. You know what that means? That means this. Listen, he is our Lord and Savior, and he has been our great high priest, and he's been the lamb of God's sacrifice. And he continues to speak, protect, and guide us all at the same time. Thanks be unto God. I'm here to tell you today, God's grace and mercy has brought us through. We should celebrate that no one can give us something to look forward to but God. You see, you can't appreciate rest until you're tired. I mean truly worn out. Yeah. And thanks be to God, we can look forward to his rest. For he says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And you shall find what? Rest unto your soul. You know, we should celebrate that for 75 years we have held firmly onto our faith. What's that song that says, Sister Power? Holding on and I won't let go. My faith. You know, in spite of all of the things that have tried to take our faith from us, mm -hmm. frustrations and disappointments and tragedies and being lied on and cheated and talked about My and Lord. mistreated, being almost level to the ground, but yet here we are, here we are. Holding, on holding on to our faith, knowing that God's grace and mercy brought us through. We should celebrate that we have not been afraid to come before God just as you are yeah. and in your time of need. 
You know, some folk are ashamed mm. to come before God because of what they have done right. after becoming saved. But listen, thanks unto God, we can celebrate together that we can come to God with confidence and that God will give us what we do not deserve, that's his grace, and then he will not give us what we do deserve, that's mercy in our time of need. Thanks be to God, we can come to him just as we are. And even as we come to him just as we are, even if we have messed up, he will still receive us. And I thank God for that. You know, I can remember, I can remember, maybe you all can't identify with this, but I can remember myself, I can remember many times coming to my mom to borrow some money. And I can remember telling her, if you give it to me this time, you'll never have to worry about me coming back no more. You know, this time, this is the last time, mama, this is, this is it. If you, I know this is a lot of money I need, but if you, if you give me this, you know, you know, you'll never have to worry about me again. And in love, she knew I was lying. She knew I was going to fail. But in love, she'd help me out. And guess what? I would get I would get into trouble again. I come right back to her again. The same guy that said I wasn't coming back no more. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. And I'm here to tell you today, there's somebody out there today who has failed, who has failed on God. But that's all right. You can dust yourself off and go back to God. Let God know, yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I meant to do well. I tried to do the right thing, but I keep messing up. But thanks be to God, I'm coming back to you. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. I know I don't want to get off into no names to, to, to accuse the innocent. But, you know, I got some, my own children. I've had my own children come to me with that line, Brother Thicker. You know, they're, 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 you know, don't worry about it. You know, you never have to worry about it. You just help me with this one. Daddy, help me with this one. And you ain't going to have to worry about me no more. I, I, you know, never again. And you all know it. we as parents, we just wait on the next time. And thanks be unto God. That's called grace and mercy. And that's what gets us through. Thanks be unto God, we have someone better than our earthly parents who provides us with more than financial survival. We have God with his grace and his mercy. And I'm here to tell you today that, that in case you don't know it, it's God's grace and mercy that brought us through. And since he's done it so many times before, I have the faith to believe that he will do it again. So don't wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Be not dismayed, whatever betides you. God will take care of you. For God's grace and mercy has brought us through. God will take care of you through every day, over all the way. He will. He will take care of you. God's grace and mercy has brought us through. I want you to know today, in spite of it all, I don't feel no way it's time. I wonder, do you hear what I'm saying? I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe he brought me this far to leave you. Why? Because God's grace and mercy has brought me through. I still have bills to pay, but God's grace and mercy will bring me through. I still feel sick, but God's grace and mercy has brought me through. Oh, yeah. I'm still concerned regarding this pandemic, but God's grace and mercy has brought me through. I still, there's somebody out there going through another day of being alone, but I'm here to tell you that God's grace and mercy has brought you through. There's somebody who's having to maintain their properties because they don't have no rent coming in. I'm here to tell you God's grace and mercy has brought you through. There's somebody out there who can say that my medicine costs more than my food. My Lord. But I'm here to tell you today that God's grace and mercy has brought me through. There's somebody that can't be close to our loved ones because of this pandemic. But I'm here to tell you that God's grace and mercy has brought us through. We've been through some tough times before. We're going to go through some more tough times. But thanks be unto God, we can celebrate right now because God's grace and mercy. We don't know what it's going to be next week. We got the next. We don't know how many folk going to be able to go, where they're going to be able to go, what we're going to be able to do. We don't know who's going to be well, who's going to be sick. We don't know who's going to die. But God's grace and mercy. And I think about the three Hebrew boys when I think about this pandemic. I 
think about the three Hebrew boys when they was told to bow down. Yeah. And they said these words. They said, well, we want you to know, O king, that, you know, surely our God can deliver us yes, from this situation. But if he don't, yes, we still ain't going to bow. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, we wear our masks. We socially distance. We wear our gloves. We do all the things that we're supposed to do. And I'm here to say that surely God can deliver us from this pandemic. Yes, sir. Yes. But if he don't, yes, sir. we're still going to be all right. Because to be absent from the body and to be present yes, with the Lord. Yes, I want to hear what I'm saying today. We're not going to allow Satan the opportunity to steal our joy yes. from us because God, grace, and mercy have brought us through. Thanks be to God for what he's done for us. I thank God for what he's done for us. I thank God for what he's done for us. So remember, brothers and sisters, God's grace and mercy has brought us through. He has brought us through. Not going to bring us through. Not hoping to bring us through. But he has brought us through. We should celebrate. We should live like we know that we have the victory in Christ Jesus. We're going to extend the invitation at this time. There may be someone here today that needs to come to Jesus. We want you to know that we have this symbolic chair out here for you to come just as you are. You can call the number 312-225-0510. You can call in. We have somebody that can talk to you about the plan of salvation. Yes, talk to you about coming to Jesus. Talk to you about coming back to Jesus. We want you to know that you can come. Just as you have today. Come to Can it baptism? Christian experience? Yeah. Hope I love <clears throat> Don't put off for tomorrow or for next time. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Or for next week. What you can do right now. He will here today. Won't you come? Brother, this invitation is for you. Sister, this invitation is for you. Don't put off for tomorrow or for next time or for next week what you can do right now. What? But you know what? I, I'm not at the church. Do I have to come and sit in that church? No, you're going to accept Christ Jesus right where you are. You can unite with us right where you are. Just let us know where you are and who you are so that we can talk to you about the plan of salvation and what God has in store for us. If you trust him today, won't you come today? Don't put off for tomorrow. Don't put off for next time or for next week what you can do. Right now. Only trust him. We thank God for what he has done because he is able. Yes, he is able. He is able. We don't want to give up any opportunity for you to come to Jesus or come back to Jesus just as you are. He is because he is able. He's able to save. He's our kidman redeemer. The price has been paid. He's waiting on you to make the decision. Just trust him. Right now. And we want you to know that you can call if the Spirit of God moves on your heart this week. You just call the number 312-225-0510. And we will get back to you and talk to you about the plan of salvation. Yes, sir. Talk to you about you re-engaging your relationship with the household of faith. Yes. May God bless you and may he keep you. At this time, we're prepared to move further by having our offertory prayer. Amen. 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 Well, I have right, Jesus right, is man. He's man. Great is he that's in me, that's in the world. Oh, yeah. oh, it's offering time. Mm -hmm. What an awesome message that well, well. Pastor preached today. Yes, he did. Grace and mercy. When I think about when I got up this morning Come on now. and I looked in the mirror, I think about the grace that God gave me, mm, and I knew my name. Mm -mm. Not only knew my name, but he gave me the activity of my limbs. Come on, my <laughs> he gave me a right sound in man. You can't beat God giving that. Yes. 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 I think Lord. about the grace that we walk through, and we get up every morning, mm. the gift <clears throat> that he gives us. Frame it, man, frame it. And I think about the mercy 
that he give us every morning. He give us what we did the day before. And when we wake up, that's behind us. He gave us the mercy. All right. Again, you cannot be God given. No, well, well. And so today we finna just honor God. And the message, uh, in the Sunday school message, they say, love thy God with all thy heart and thy soul, yes, and love thy neighbor yes, as, you as you love thyself. Yes, and now it's time to put some action in this action. love that we're talking about. So we tend to pray that we have a mind to just give a harvest, the first of our harvest, to the church where we can continue to do God's will. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace just to lift yes, you up Lord. and magnify your holy and righteous name. Yes. We thank you for all the things that you have done in thank our life. You, I thank you when I looked in the mirror that I don't look like what I've been through. My mom. Oh, Lord, yes. 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 Thank you for yes. all the things that you have done in my family's life. All bringing right. us thus far, Lord. We ask you to continue to bless Mark Carmo in its entirety, Lord. Bless our pastor. Continue to guide and direct him. Yes, sir. Give yes, him the man to do what's pleasing in our sight, Lord. We ask you to bless Reverend Falcon, Lord. Yep, Lord. We ask you to continue to yes, lift him Lord. up and build him up where he's going up. We ask you to bless both of their spouses, Lord. Please. We ask you to continue to just lift up my Carmel and thank you for the, all the support they have been doing. But please give them a man to continue to lift them with the heels when coming to help. Because all they help. All our help. help. We just thank you for the gift that you give us every morning. We ask you to forgive us for our sins and deliver us from evil because you have all the power all and all power. the glory. And all the saints say what? Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Deacon Figures, for sharing uh, that wonderful, pertinent prayer at this time. We we'll want to be thankful. I just want to remind everyone, I, I'll be getting out the information relative to the nephew of our own sister Inez, uh, her nephew. Uh, it, uh, she did text it to me, uh, but it is on my phone, and I'm going to have to get it off of there because we, we're using it right now. I need yeah. a to transfer that information, but we will be posting it uh, and uh, emailing it to the members, the congregants, so you all will know, uh, so you can be prayerful for the families. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the members of Mount Carmel for viewing today and for the support of your church. Brothers and sisters, in the state of Illinois, according to the Chicago Tribune and NBC5, there were 11,000 28 cases, new cases Man. of COVID-19 infections yesterday, leading up to today. Lord and there were 166 deaths. Now, 100 of those deaths were since yesterday, and 66 of those deaths were from Friday. If you all been watching the uh, governor's reports, they were having some computer problems, and they were talking about the figures were going to be merged for this particular weekend. And so that's why the 166 is so tremendously high because it's a combination of the entire weekend. Mm -hmm. But we all know anybody who's experienced one death one knows death. that one yes, is too many. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We are prayerful and we will comply with the mayor's request to reduce our numbers right. from a max of 25 to 10. Amen. We're calling on our members to be safe and do what is necessary to stay healthy and keep yourself and your families alive. Lord, Lord. Thank you to the pastors and laymen across the state of Illinois who came together for prayer this past Tuesday at 7 p.m. Thank you, Baptist General State Convention President Foster. Thank you, Baptist General State Convention Layman President Deacon Taylor, our own Deacon Taylor. Amen. Thank you, Baptist General State Conventions of Illinois Young Pastors Director Hanson. Thank you to Deacon James Washington and Deacon James Taylor for their prayers. Amen. Thank you to Pastors Dale Lawson, Herman Watson, Jonathan Tennille, and Damian Epps for your prayers. We're looking forward as brothers, pastors, and laymen will come together again on Zoom as well as on the phone conference. And we're looking to do that on December the 8th. Yeah. 
We want to increase our numbers as we come together in unity. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have access, brothers and sisters, to some new partners as well as some current partners to provide cloth masks, hand sanitizers, some food and toiletry opportunities. We will post on our social media, text, and email outlets. Uh, please share with your members and families when we do. I want you to know that right now, mask and hand sanitizer is here at the church and available. Uh, so Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 4 p.m. on your way to the store, because that's the only time you're going to go outside uh -huh. when you go to the store. <laughs> on your way to the store, you can stop by the church and pick up some masks. Okay. So we want you to be mindful of that. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we thank God again for each and every one of you. May God bless you and may God keep you. We're so grateful uh, to have a new attendee on today. Our, our own uh, sister Angela McDonald's with us on today. So may God bless you and may keep you. Let's stay prayerful. Let's stay safe. Please wear your mask. Remember your social distancing. And remember to wash your hands mm. and, and be vigilant and diligent as we do what we need to do in these days and times. Because, brothers and sisters, uh, this thing is for real. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. This is not a joke. This is not some political joke that someone has made up. Uh, uh, ask the families that, are, that have deaths in their yes, families. Sir. Ask the people who have family members that are hospitalized. My Lord. So let us please be mindful of that. So let us prepare to go down from this place. Let us stand. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and bow with us all, henceforth now and forevermore, until we all should meet again. Together let us all say amen. 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 God bless you. Amen.